Right, so if you have read and understood considering it critical care scenario, kindly please tell me how would you manage this patient now? Uh, first, I will uh, manage the patient uh, according to critical care um, uh, uh, protocol. Yes. According to PACE protocol. Yes. And uh, uh, as the patient is hypothermic, yes. Um, I will first rewarm the patient. Uh, by uh, uh, I, I will first re rewarm the patient after uh, rescuing uh, after uh, after rescuing into the mirror center. Okay. And uh, uh, along how with would that, you, uh, will, how would you re uh, rewarm the patient? What measures would you take? Uh, by uh, warming device like blanket. And, and uh, I will give patient warm IV saline. Okay, warm IV and, saline, uh, yes. Uh, if there is any wound, I will uh, uh, do uh, I will do irrigation by warm fluid. Okay. And if patient is exposed, uh, then I will cover the patient. And yes, what else would you do? Uh, I will keep the temperature of the environment. Yes. Uh, within uh, 21 degrees centigrade. Yes. And uh, and try to uh, uh, rewarm the patient up to patient is uh, uh, up to the core temperature yes. 36 degrees centigrade. How would you uh, ensure or how would you measure the core body temperature? Uh, core body temperature can be uh, measured in um, uh, in oral axillary. Uh, rectal esophageal or uh, tympanic membrane. Rectal esophageal, yes, but this patient is unconscious, so all right. Can you tell me uh, uh, what might have caused, like, yes, what might have caused hypothermia in this patient? In this patient, uh, hypothermia may affect all the systems, like uh, in case of cardiovascular system, uh, it can cause decreased cardiac output, uh, vasoconstriction, uh, ECG abnormal to year interval, uh, normal QRS, uh, white QRS complex. Yes. In uh, respiratory system, it will cause uh, increased pulmonary vascular resistance uh, and VQ mismatch um, and uh, decreased ventilatory drive. Uh, in case of renal system, it will uh, decrease the uh, urine out, uh, decrease okay. the GFR and uh, cholidiasis. Yes, thanks. Uh, can you please tell me? If you don't get to, if you don't manage to uh, warm up the patient and just suppose, God forbid, patient becomes uh, worse. So what are the complications that you expect to see because of hypothermia? Um, if, uh, sorry ma'am, can you repeat please? Yes, uh, if you don't get to manage the patient well on time. So what are the complications that you expect to see in a patient of hypothermia? Uh, it will involve uh, multi organ uh, uh, failure. failure. Yes. Also, and um, if you are talking about worse, yes, cardiovascular, so how would that worsen? Uh, that will uh, worsen by uh, 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 ending up into arrhythmia. Arrhythmias, um, yes, uh, decreased cardiac output. Yes. Cardiac output and uh, cardiac uh, arrest may happen. Yes. And if you will do the ECG, so the uh, PR interval there will be increased with the white health QRS complexes and there will be in particular J wave because of hypothermia, mm -hmm. right? All right. If uh, Yes, in case of respiratory system failure, what is uh, 
vehicle mismatch. If you can, uh, the mismatch, there will be um, uh, mismatch between the uh, uh, air in, um, air entry um, yes. that is the oxygen um, entry into the lungs and the uh, 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 blood flow uh, to the lungs that is needed uh, for uh, airway exchange. Okay, can you please tell me uh, how would you take care of the fluid requirement of this patient according to the critical care protocol? Fluid calculation according to body weight uh, yes. for first 10 kg, 100 ml per kg. Yes. And uh, then for next 10 kg, 50 ml per kg and uh, subsequently 20 ml per kg. Yes, this that patient will be the requirement. has hyperkalemia. How would you take care of that? In case of, uh, okay, can I come back to that? Yes, uh, yes, you can say that. You can come back to that later. Okay, can you please tell me uh, when a patient who suffers from uh, hypothermia, how would you, uh, how do you expect ABGs to be? Is it this? Uh, here is uh, uh, like if you'll do the arterial uh, blood vessels, yes. yes, yes, yes. What we... Yes, yes. So how would you take care of that metabolic acidosis? Sorry, I'm network is just yes. All right. Okay. Can you tell me? Yes, uh, yes, how would you take care of the metabolic acidosis? Um, metabolic acidosis. Um, uh, I, uh, I will uh, manage the hyperkalemia along with metabolic acidosis um, uh, by um, uh, hey, there is patient. Yes, uh, there is another term, like uh, in this case, maybe it was pathological hypothermia, and then there is another term, physiological hypothermia, or the physiological complications of uh, hypothermia. What do you understand by that? Physiological sorry. complications of hypothermia. So what's happening there? Uh, in case of uh, physiological hypothermia, there will be um, uh, uh, coagulation system will be affected, yes. and there yes. will be um, decreased uh, coagulation and increased fibrin lysis, and ultimately BIC uh, can be the ultimate result. In which conditions or what are the few conditions in which patient presents with protein catabolism? Um, Can you uh, categorize hypothermia among that situation? Uh, it will affect the metabolic system, like uh, decrease basal metabolic rate and um, here, metabolic acidosis uh, may also happen, and in this patient, metabolic acidosis is present. What is negative nitrogen balance? Uh, when, uh, in case of catabolic patients, there will be decreased uh, 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 pro uh, pro uh, protein uh, generation, uh, uh, will be less than uh, uh, protein intake. That will cause the, uh, negative nitrogen balance. In case of, uh, according to the NICE guidelines, when you as a surgeon will be operating in the operation theater, how would you ensure, according to the NICE guidelines, that you reduce the risk of hypothermia in your patients? Um, in case of operative patients? Yes, while you are, yes. no, in, uh, in case of operation. According to the NICE uh, guidelines, uh, when you're operating on the patients, how would you ensure that your patient in operation theater does not uh, will, go through the risk of hypothermia? Uh, yes, uh, particularly I will avoid uh, prolonged fasting 
and I will um, uh, ensure that uh, the core body temperature is 36 degrees centigrade uh, before um, operation. And mm -hmm. I will avoid prolonged surgery as well. And I will uh, expose the patient, uh, expose the patient um, only as uh, as much as mm -hmm. needed. Yes. And I will maintain the temperature of the operation theater up to 21 degrees centigrade. Yes. And I will use active warming of the patient by um, warming device like bare hand system and warm IV fluid irrigation fluid uh, is needed um, and um, uh, post-operatively patient will be kept in the uh, 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 recovery room until the core body temperature very good. is 36. Very good. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you.